Alleluia, Christ is risen. I've been thinking about how in the earliest post-resurrection accounts, the disciples are full of anxiety and are afraid. They aren't sure, although they're excited that Jesus has risen from the dead, they don't know what it means in terms of themselves, their mission, their future. In some ways, it's that kind of anxious time for us in our church right now. We're moving into synod conventions in the next couple months where we'll be making significant direction or decisions about the directions of our church as we deal with questions of structural renewal. We're looking at ways of doing some internal governance changes and putting more emphasis on encouraging congregations to work together at the grassroots level. But we're also thinking about the amalgamation of synods and looking ahead to ways we will work differently as congregations, synods, and the national church. The decisions that we make kind of are anxiety producing because it involves change. The temptation is to think about how the changes affect you and only you without remembering that we are a part of a church that stretches not just from coast to coast to coast, but around this whole world as we partner internationally and ecumenically. Let me speak very candidly for you, to you for a minute. I am afraid that if these structural changes do not go through, that it, we are not going to be able to continue to carry out our mandate as a national church and fulfill our commitments to our international and ecumenical prod, um, partners. This will affect the way that we operate as church at, even at the congregational and synodical level. So I urge you to think carefully as you make decisions at your synod conventions, remembering that they're decisions for our whole church. I'm glad that the only kind of renewal that we're looking at is not just structural renewal, but also spiritual renewal. I get so excited to see the way in different parts of the church, the call to deepen our discipleship is being picked up as people pick up the themes of pray, read, worship, study, serve, give, and tell. Spiritual renewal is what is going to help us deepen our roots as a church and enable us to grow. And in some ways, structural renewal is the pruning of the top of the tree that allow time for our roots to grow and for us in the end to grow both spiritually and in terms of our mission and ministry. I ask you, please pray with me as you prepare for your synod convention but indeed, as we prepare for all of the Synod Conventions this year, that the Holy Spirit would guide us and that we would make wise decisions that will enable us indeed to be a church in mission for others. God bless you. Alleluia.